All right, let's quickly get through this uh, NXT show. I I don't know what you thought about the show overall. I thought the first match was really good and really fun. And I, oh, then I thought just, the first I thought the first match was freaking awesome. And then it just kind of went it, down and, and never really got back to. to oh, that it never match. got it never never it never got close. Um, I mean, it's so funny because I'm. I mean, the the discussion we had with Adam Cole yesterday. Mm-hmm. When I talked about the first time I went to PWG, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, this so was my, off air. This was before we started recording. I we think. didn't we didn't talk about this one on the air. I don't think so. Okay, we you know what you're right. You're right. I think we we did talk about this off the air. Um, but anyway, so so the the point of it is, the first time I went to PWG, the very first match I saw, um, and I'm watching this Wesley Dijak match, and it's like. This is the first match I saw at PWG. <laughs> and and the, the story is, is that they did this match. Near fall, near fall, near fall. Crazy moves. Fantastic match. Super heat. And when it was over, I go like, you guys just killed the show. And of course, not knowing PWG and being behind because I wasn't going to stuff like that and still with my old brain. Yeah. It was like, I thought you guys just killed the show. And I even said to some people, and they go, no, this is PWG, just watch. And in fact, they didn't even come close, and everybody got heat, and the show went till 12.45 a.m., and the crowd was lit the whole time. And, and and you know, the experience was is that, like, wow, you know, I mean, it, it didn't kill the show. And all those near falls in match one didn't ruin the show. Like, I was taught that it would. Um, so I'm watching this, and and I don't think that this match ruined the show. Um, but, but it was closer when they did this, I'm going like, well, this is a pretty lit crowd. So, and, and they're really into the product. So I think that maybe this won't ruin the show, but nobody could come close. Um, I just think nobody else had the match that they did at at all. I thought that the, um, there was not a, well, the, um, the, the, the one, the women's tag match for the title where, um, Fallon Henley and, um, and, uh, Keanu James won the title from, Katana Chance and uh, Caden Carter. I thought that match was very much so. So you know, mm-hmm. they're like, um, um, you know, James is is good for her level of experience. Henley's okay, but they're not they're not the level of of tag team champions and what you expect on a a show of this caliber. They just weren't, and they were kept short because of that reason. They worked hard. It was not a bad match by any means, but um, I thought it was weak for for this level of a show. Uh, I think that they outthought themselves with Carmelo Hayes and Cruz in the sense that, um, you know, you go in there and I, you know, I'm thinking these guys are just going to steal the show. These guys are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And they did not have anything close to an awesome match. It was a long match and they went two straight falls. And I think that that was completely, I think that, you know, again, and Sean's the booker and I'm just thinking, you know, Sean, you know, they start very slow, but they went 22 minutes. But when, Hayes wins the first fall. Everyone's going, Cruz is winning the second fall. So they're just waiting for Cruz to win the second fall. You know what I mean? Because they know when you do two out of three falls and you, so, so Sean's trying to outthink the fans by going like, they're all going to think that he's winning the second fall and they're going to be wrong. And yep. he's going to lose two straight. And since Hayes is going to be wrestling Braun Breaker on April or whatever, April 1st, I think is the next, is the next show. Why don't we have him go over in two straight falls? Because it's strong. And I get that. But what happened was the crowd just sitting there waiting for Cruz to win the second fall. And then all of a sudden, Hayes wins the fall again. You know, and they do a thing with the distraction of da, uh, Dabakato. Dabakato, who used to be Commander Aziz, who Baba Day used to be Baba Day before that. And then he turns on. Um, he turns on uh, Apollo Cruz to give Apollo Cruz a new feud. So that's kind of like the deal. But what was weird about it is he came out to run off Trick Williams. Yes. So he came out to help Apollo Cruz, and immediately as he comes out to help Apollo Cruz, Apollo Cruz gets pinned like right away. With- yeah, with 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 with, with Hayes finish because he was distracted with the leg slice. But the thing is that, or what the, nothing but net is, I think is what they call it. But the um, the thing is, is that like the crowd was like so flat for that finish because they didn't expect that pinfall i mean they were sure he was i sure didn't fall. expect it i didn't either and so i just thought like i thought that match while a a well wrestled match i didn't think it was at all outstanding 
And I thought that it was a, you know, booking wise was very disappointing and match wise was very disappointing. Um, Best part but, was the entrance. Carmelo Hayes's entrance was really cool. I had a lot of cool entrances and that, that was maybe the best one of all. Yeah. Yeah. With the banners and everything. Yeah. And they, they, they really made those guys look like stars in the entrances. They, they did a really good job with that. The, um, I thought uh, Braun Breaker beat Grayson Waller with uh, two spears. And I don't know if Braun Breaker was hurt. I was watching him move. And I haven't heard back from anyone um, since the show ended. But just the way he was moving, I felt that he may have had an injury. It may have been a shoulder injury. And there was a point mm-hmm. late where he's kind of favoring his shoulder and everything. And I don't think that, that, that you know. Um, but I thought that, again, there was a little bit. He wasn't as dynamic and explosive as he usually is because he's such a great athlete. And, um, you know, yeah, I thought that that match was that match also under delivered. It was OK. I mean, it didn't even really need to be in the cage outside of the superplex spot, which you could have done in, in a normal ring. Like it wasn't that fantastic either. Yeah, the cage didn't really play a part. I mean, they, I think it, it, I think I think it hurt the crowd reactions, um, you know, because the crowd was not hot for the match at all. Um, the four way tag was good. You know, I didn't think it was outstanding, but it was. Yeah, Gallus beats uh, the New Day. They're the new champions. Yeah, and I, I tell you what, I like that because I think that, again, I think people probably thought that, like, Andre Chase is in there to, to do the job. He got the biggest pop for his his spot in the match. Yeah, the, st- the stomp is over. But the thing is, he, I didn't think he, you know, they, they you know, when, when he came out, they were, they booed him in the building at first. And they booed him early. But. Um, you know, as it went on, that that spot got the biggest pop, yeah. But I think that the deal with um, you know, being the new day, I thought was really good because you know they were the champions, and it's always better. Plus, you know, it it helps Gallus a lot more to beat Woods, like they beat somebody better, and it wasn't like they, you know, weaseled their way out of a main roster guy losing the title. So that was good as far as the finish went, but um. You know, that, like it's good. It's good, but it wasn't. Uh, you know, it wasn't like a, a killer match either. And then, um, what was the the uh, the women's title? Roxanne beat uh, Gigi and JC. Yeah, and 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 Roxanne's really good, and the other two really aren't. I mean, their personality and their aura is good. Um, the match was easy to watch. I wasn't bored by it, but watching it, I felt it was. Um, you know, not high caliber wrestling and very sloppy in a lot of spots. Um, I liked, you know, story was good in the sense that, you know, Gigi and JC did turn on each other um, a lot and, you know, but they were together a lot. They'd go back and forth and Roxanne's very compelling. She's a star, you know? So I thought the match was all right, but, but, you know, again, nothing special. Um, Wesley beat Dijak in the opener, which was a great, great match. Um, and um, I might leave. I think that we, we we hit every match now. Yeah, Charlotte uh, did the uh, the uh, video package to start the show. Uh, she was uh, taller than like everybody <laughs> <laughs> doing doing the video package. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it was it was in was it in Charlotte? Was it she yeah, Charlotte? Yeah, Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah so the, that the, that was kind of cool at the NBA and, arena. Yeah. You know, I I have Spectrum grown Center. to despise that building that they do TV in. Um, oh yeah, yeah. It, it is. It is much better. They look so much more major league out of that yeah, building. Totally, and that helped my enjoyment of the show for sure. Was that a real crowd? And, and, and I'm, that's not to dismiss the the crowd that goes to those shows in the building because they they consistently show up, and and that's a positive thing. But just to get out of that place, it gives it kind of gives me like this weird feeling every time I see NXT going like, gosh, this place again. Um, but you know, if they if they're going to be able to to go to arenas for these these uh, special shows i think that's and, just and they, gonna they, help did, they did well i mean i, I didn't get the, uh, the the final number but there were five thousand in the building i mean more than five thousand in the building so it's not like you know they went in there and um you know if they had three thousand you kind of go like eh, you know that's not it's not necessarily so great i mean it's better than than um it's better than AEW has done with ring of honor shows as far as attendance went but ring of honor doesn't have its own tv so there's a, there's a reason for that too and and it's still WWE product and everything, but um, I, you know, so the, the crowd was good. They were very in, you know, very into the first match, but nobody could follow. Nobody could follow those guys. And, and, uh, and it was like, if you compare it to the, the Paul of takeover shows, the depth of talent is not there. You know, the, and there's the, no, there's no surprises of, of talent who 
is are yeah yeah next. yeah 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 they didn't well they're relying you know again they're not relying on bringing in so much indie guys I, i'm sure they wanted to introduce dragon lee but he's having visa issues so he's not there yet yeah, i was hoping dragon lee i was hoping carl maybe to do something carl carl frederick carl frederick i think that they don't think enough people know him yeah carl it's, it's possible carl, carl carl frederick could have been there i mean there's no reason yeah there's no reason he couldn't have done a run-in or something but but i don't think that they think he's you know big enough for that i don't know but he just has the cool look he, he does, you know you could cool, do the whole like who is this guy thing and then and then booker t could do the oh i you know he's well, from you know i saw him in japan or something and yeah and well their, their big their big surprise was baba Tunde. yeah that was not a good one yeah well you know when you're when you're that size you get lots of chances and uh he's getting another one and um i mean the guy's a good athlete and he's really big but what what was it wasn't uh I, I don't know this for sure, but it seemed like Cruz was just kind of dissatisfied with that, the the way that his, his run was going. And so they're bringing this character back that maybe didn't work out so great for him on NXT. I don't know. That just, I think they're just giving him a feud with a guy, you know, Cruz's role obviously is to put people over. Yeah. Um, this guy, you know, again, they, they look, they always want a new monster and, and he's big enough to be a monster. Um, but he, he, you know, he also never, you know, he's had, he's had many chances and he's been there for years and he's not even bad, but he's, but he's not outstanding either. And, you know, again, like I said, like you, you, that you're that size, you're going to get a lot of chances. Here is some actual commentary from Bastion Burger. I love barbecue. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> During this match. Uh, I believe uh, Bastion was uh, choking on his chicken wings. Bastion said, uh, Vince, you haven't lived up to your contract. I uh, require four or five pizzas delivered in a wheelbarrow. It was at this point that Bastion Burger demanded hot dogs. <laughs> were I they wasn't. delivered in a wheelbarrow, too? Yeah. That's a big hot dog. We were told Razor and Zanetti have called. It's a big wiener. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brian. Big juicy wiener. Yes, in between two buns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you broke Vinny. <laughs> If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.